If you want to stop singing breathy and weak and be able to sing stronger with more control, you've come to the right place. Because in this video, I will show you what causes breathy and weak notes when you sing and what to do instead. Hi, I'm Vanessa E, vocal coach and singer-songwriter with You Can Sing Too. And I believe that great singers are not born, they're made. And that's why I'm so passionate to help you reach your singing goals. I've coached thousands of singers and I'm a singer myself. So I want to uncomplicate great vocal technique and teach you simple yet effective tools that really get results so that you can sing with confidence, freedom, power, and range. And to help you sing stronger and higher, I have a free, the word is free, singing goodie for you, which is my mixed voice vocal exercise. And you're gonna really wanna get that because it works so good to build your voice. And I use it myself, so make sure to click the link in the description. All right, so let's talk about what causes breathy and weak notes. All right, so number one is incorrect intake of air. So that means the way you are breathing, basically. Okay, so if you're doing shallow breathing like a Okay, that's gonna affect how you let out the air on your notes. Another thing is not enough air. You're just not taking in enough. So you're getting a breath, but it's too little, all right? So what you wanna do instead is take a nice, deep, low breath where you fill in the air around the lower part of your stomach, okay? You wanna feel your rib cage expanding. And I like to just show this as like pretending that you have a inner tube that's around your waist and you're feeling that keeping your shoulders down and I like to teach breathing for singing with your jaw open because that's what you're going to want to do before you sing a note anyway so let me just show you you're going to go like this you're filling that air in okay and so holding that practicing holding that for five or ten seconds you know build up each you know time and letting out slowly like a is good for the intake of your air and helping you support your voice, okay? So number two is incorrect connection to your chest and head voice. So what does that mean? Well, if you're not getting deep enough in your chest voice and there's extra air in there, but I'm gonna show you how to take it out. And same thing with your head voice, you're not placing the sound in the correct place with the right amount of airflow, you're not gonna have strength or control that you need to have to sing stable, strong notes and to sustain them, okay? So what you want to do is, we wanna start with our chest voice, making sure that you have a nice, strong connection because this is the foundation of your voice. So I'm gonna show you just a tool with a wider vowel so that you feel a nice, strong but not strained connection to your chest voice. So I just want you to put your hand on your chest and I just want you to stick your tongue out and pick a low note for you, okay? So um, if you you know have a lower voice, you're gonna maybe wanna go lower than what I'm doing. Um, just find a note that's low for you. So, eh, 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 okay? You should feel the vibration in your chest. That's why we call it chest voice, all right? And that is a nice, strong note. What we don't want is eh, eh, because that is gonna lead to that weak and airy breathy sound that we don't want, okay? So now once you have that, I'm gonna give you uh, a tool to put a consonant in front of it because this is a great tool for practicing along with songs in the lower part of your voice. So you're gonna go gag, 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 all right? Just keep your cheeks relaxed. You don't wanna go gag, 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 because we really don't want the, to raise the larynx, but gag, 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 gag. So if you're singing something low and you wanna just practice the melody, gag, 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 gag. But we don't want gag, 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 gag. You hear that extra air in there? So you want to do this correctly. Get the consonant that's gonna be an air blocker for you. Gag, gag, gag. Get that G in there first because you want to make sure you're not letting that extra air out, okay? Let me show you a tool for your head voice, okay? So that is where we feel the sound in our head and that's when we're singing our higher notes. So we're gonna go put our lips forward and just again, 
find a high note for you. Go, 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 go. So notice I'm not doing go, 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 go. That's extra air and that is breaking up the control and it's like an enemy to power. So we don't want that. So you're gonna go go, go, go. Get that G, put your lips forward, open your jaw and then raise the pitch just as it's comfortable for you. Okay, so that's, that's how you get a nice strong connection with your head voice. You'll feel the vibrations in your head, but you're using that hard consonant to break up, the, uh, to actually block, rather, block those extra um, airflow, that extra airflow, which leads me to number three, which is air leaks on your notes. We wanna avoid air leaks on your notes. So this can happen in the beginning of lines, like if you're starting and you're like, ah, Sometimes people use that for style, so that's okay if you, as long as you can control it. But if you're having a challenge with power and control and pitch, make sure to follow the tips that I'm showing you in this video and use that kind of style for, you know, uh, use it sparingly for when you want to um, have a different sound, okay? So when you leak the notes on your, um, you leak the air on your notes, like I said, it affects your pitch, your control, and you're not able to hold notes because you're leaking it out all at once. It's like a balloon that's deflating. <sighs> it's all gone. So you're not gonna be able to hold that note. So what you want to do is like I showed you before is to make that connection. So use the tool that I showed you, gag, 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 lower, okay? Make sure the back of your throat is open. That's why I showed you the ah first. And then once that's good, you go to the gag. And then go, 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 feeling the head voice, okay? Now, I want to show you how to sustain where you're just singing that note without the ha ah in there. So if you go, ah, that's a connected note. So the back of the throat is open. I've got my jaw relaxed, okay? I'm not putting a ah. I'm gonna run out of air. I don't have control that way, okay? So if you're not sure if you're doing that correctly, one thing you can do is record yourself. Listen back and hear it. You can also feel it. So try that tool I gave you, you know, just go gag, gag, okay? And then hold it a little bit and that'll help you control those air leaks, okay? And so also make sure that when you're singing a song and it's got some, you know, movement in there that you're not leaking it, you know, in different parts, okay? All right, so on to another, one more tool I'm gonna give you and then we're gonna just put this all together. It's gonna be super simple and you're gonna really see a difference, okay? So this tool is go. So we so far we've had gag, goo for the higher notes and then we're just gonna use go, okay? And again, this is a hard consonant. It's helping you bl block the extra air when you do it correctly. And it's going to help you feel the balance of the airflow so that when you put the words in the song, it will be strong and stable, not weak or airy. So you would use the gag for the lower part. You would use the go kind of for like the middle um, notes and then the goo for the real top notes just to help you feel the sound connection, okay? So let's put this together. We're just gonna go, 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 go. Okay, we don't want go, 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 go. Get a good breath. Go, go, go. All right, now let me show you how you would apply this in a song, all right? So I'm just gonna pick some words like, I'm singing, I'm singing strong, okay? So like, I'm just gonna make up a melody, okay? So go, 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 go. I'm singing strong. All right, so I use the go to show you how that's gonna help you balance everything. I got a good breath. Go, 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 go. I'm singing strong. Jaws open, back of the throat is open, and I'm connected with chest voice. Tiny bit of head voice in there because it's a mixed voice note, okay? Doesn't matter if you do that on the same pitch that I did, just practice that if you do it lower, that's totally fine. But I just want you to feel that because now you should be singing strong and stable notes when you apply that, what I show you, the techniques, getting that good breath, making sure that you're connecting to your chest and head voice correctly and not leaking extra air on your notes, all right? 
great job. You totally got this. So make sure that you practice this daily and make sure you get my mixed voice exercise because it will help you enforce this. And please let me know in the comments how this helps you because I love to hear from you. And also if you have other videos you'd like to see me make. All right, make sure to like this video and please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Happy singing.